Is this your first commencement address? Uh, certainly as a congressman it is. I, I did work uh, at Oregon State University uh, when I was in the state legislature, but uh, very appreciative that Ross University has given me the opportunity to uh, get out in front a little bit and put uh, veterinary medicine on the radar screen uh, for the country at large. And certainly Ross does a great job. Uh, uh, a lot of students can't get into the limited number of veterinary schools on the North American continent. So uh, Ross has stepped up, and uh, their class does an excellent job. They're uh, a preferred provider. That we, we need veterinarians, and Ross is able to produce them. They work well with some of the other institutions. I like that. They, there's that diversified cross-pollination when they come out their senior year you know, to do their clinic rotations and spread out around the country. I think that's healthy for the rest of the country to see these young grads. And uh, you, know, you learn from each other in this profession. It's very good. Is there a piece of advice that you'd like to share with um, new graduates entering, entering this profession? Uh, well, you're probably not as smart as you think you are. And uh, uh, take the advice from uh, dinosaurs like me uh, with a grain of salt, but maybe a little, listen a little bit. Uh, but be aggressive and be assertive in uh, your, the way you want to approach veterinary medicine. Uh, I think you're the future, and there'll be a great opportunity for you to... to set the stage for how we deal with all sorts of critical issues going forward in this great country. So uh, I wish them the best and uh, I'm really proud of the classes that come out of our schools nowadays.